I am Aniket from Tarkas Astra Academy. In the previous video, we have taken a look at MBA CET cutoff for various colleges across Maharashtra. But those cutoffs were for state level seats or home university seats or other than home university seats. So if you watch that video, you will understand what I am talking about. All these colleges, they have a certain quota for all India seats as well. So, 15% seats are reserved for all India candidates in all these colleges. So, for JBIMS, 85% seats will be for Maharashtra state candidates and 15% seats will be for all India candidates, in which Maharashtra is also included. Same is with Sidnam, Wellinkar, SIS, you name the college, that is the case. Now, this is previous year's PDF. So, we are going to discuss about all India cutoffs for previous year. So I have taken this PDF from the official website of CET Cell 2021. Now this year, this year it is CET Cell 2022. So last year also the results were declared in percentile. This year as well the results are declared in percentile. So we can say that the percentile cutoff for last year and this year will be approximately same. Now you must be looking at merit number. So this merit number you will get after the cap. So if you look at the cutoffs, uh, for JBIMS, it was 99.97%. Now, these 15% seats for uh, in each of these colleges will be filled through various exams. So state level seats are uh, filled only through MBA CET. But these all India seats are filled through MBA CET, CAT, ZAD, ATMA, MAT and CMAT. So these five, six exams are accepted for them. Now, admission process for these all India seats is similar to the admission process for state level seats. They, these candidates also have to go through the cap rounds. So a detailed video about cap rounds will be shared with you by the end of the day. How the admission process is for these colleges, that detailed video will be shared. And in that video, what is the admission process for the state level candidates and all India candidates that will also be shared. Now, the motive here is to look at the cutoff. For if you have scored 99.97 percentile in any of the 5-6 men exams mentioned before, you will get the seat in JBIMS. Then 99.86 for Sydney, 99.76 for Wellinger College. So, as you can see, if you have scored 98 percentile, you can get into MET. 96 percentile, you can get into Vivekadan Education Society or Alkish Dinesh Modi. 95 percentile, you can get into Indira College. Or 95 percentile can get, in, get you into Agnes. So, you can check the college. 94 percentile for Ramdev Baba College. Now. So, you can check the percentile for each and every college. Each and every college is mentioned over here. Total, it is a 17 pages PDF and you will get the cutoff for all India seats. Okay. So make sure that, I mean, if you are, if you have scored 95 percentile in CMAT exam, let us say. So for 95 percentile, these are the colleges which you can target. Indira College uh, in Pune, St. Francis in Mumbai, Indira College, other call Indira Global Business School in Pune, Agnels. Uh, Bharti Vidya Peet, Navi Mumbai, Ramdev Baba. These are the colleges in your range. If you have scored, let us say, 98 percentile in uh, MAT exam, then 98 percentile, these are the colleges in your range. If you have scored 99.9 percentile, then these are the colleges in your range. And if you have scored 80 percentile, just scroll down, you will get the uh, colleges which accept the, which have the cutoff of around 80 percentile. So this PDF is quite beneficial to find out the cutoff for this year. So make sure that you utilize it wisely. I'll be sharing the link of this PDF in the description of the video as well. Okay. So do connect with us. The numbers are provided in the description of the video. If you have any query, you can comment it in the comment section and let us know if you want a video in any other topic. Thank you so much. Jayat.